Hello guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Matt and today I will be showing you how to track your TV shows, your favorite TV shows uh, online and uh, how to get notifications uh, on when new uh, upcoming ep episodes are released uh, and keep track of where you left off if you're watching a series and you're somewhere in the middle and you just want to keep track of where you left off basically. So. Also, this goes for movies as well. Keep track of what movies you've watched, what movies you want to watch, and perhaps find movies you may want to watch even though you didn't because you didn't know they existed. So yeah, this uh, video is basically all about Tracked.tv. Uh, if you can't hear me for some reason or something, yeah, just leave the link in the description below. It's just Tracked.tv in your search bar. So basically, it is a site uh, where you... Uh, you you tell the site what shows you've watched uh, or you don't really have to say what shows you've watched if they're finished but you basically uh, uh, once you've uh, registered uh, and signed in uh, of course it doesn't know anything about you so you have to go ahead and search for the TV shows and or movies if you'd like uh, and fill in the ones you watched uh, you can even set the date when you watch them but I mean who the fuck remembers when you watched something? So I'll just show you how I do how how I do it, how I do it uh, later. Uh, but yeah, so uh, where was I? Um, yeah, you have to like uh, tell the site what you watched, and then it will be uh, keeping track of all your series that you are currently watching and uh, that are airing at the moment, and it will say. Uh, on a calendar or on a basic uh, page uh, when the next episode is coming out and if you haven't watched like the latest episode at all times it will say which one you haven't watched and which one is next to watch but I'll show you all that right now so what you want to do is you will do have to go ahead and press join tract of course you can sign up here either using Twitter Facebook Google Plus or just uh, filling in the basic uh, registration form there but I'll just basically sign in because of course I have already got an account and I use this daily really because it's so helpful and does help me out a lot because I am using uh, or watching quite a lot of series but I'll just move this to the my other screen and log in so you won't see my my details uh, it would really take a moment there we go so I did just log in signed in successfully not sure why uh, I mean I can't fucking see it. it's signed in anyway so this is your basic dashboard side uh, of course it won't look like this if you uh, just registered because you won't have any series or movies uh, put in yet but uh, as you see here it says how long you've spent of your life watching TV series watching movies and I'll come to back to this later this is just some bullshit anyway it also says how many movies you've watched uh, of course I've watched way way more movies than that but I mean I can't remember I've been watching movies since I was like half a meter or something it, it, I've been watching movies for quite some time I can't remember every single fucking movie I've watched so I haven't really tracked every movie uh, but uh, over here it says all the episodes I watched that's quite accurate not really but you know but anyway as you see here uh, it says that I have on deck to watch uh, the 16th episode of uh, season 1 of the community or actually just community it's quite a funny series I started watching just a week ago uh, and I also uh, have next to watch the second episode of season 3 of American Horror Story really have put that on hold for the moment uh, really just the first episode didn't really uh, wasn't all that great in my opinion but I have to get watching that soon but yeah and uh, these are all series I all currently watch I just recently watched the f uh, eighth episode of the fifth season of New Girl uh, just moments ago uh, before recording this video so there was a a logo of this here and uh, I watched it and it disappeared since it's a track that I already watched it so now it says that the next New Girl episode will air on uh, Wednesday March 2nd uh, 3 a.m. I think that is on Fox uh, so basically a week from now and tomorrow uh, Arrow and Modern Family will air uh, so I can watch them and they'll pop up here and uh, on Friday Big Bang Theory, The Blacklist, Two Broke Girls and Monday The Walking Dead so 
that's basically all the w shows I am currently watching but I'll just uh, give you an example of how this works so if you're new and you won't have any of this uh, just basically search for a show I also decided to add shows that have ended uh, just because it's funny to see how long you spent of your life watching TV series you don't have to do this but for example I uh, already before making this account I had watched all the prison break episodes so then I went ahead and searched for prison break here in the uh, search bar and of course I found it here prison break show from 2005 I then pressed this button and uh, it will say uh, something like when did you watch it it will say on release date uh, specific date or something or right now uh, so but yeah prison break was a bad example since I already have watched all that uh, for example search for something that I haven't watched like uh, uh, what's the MATLAB thingy uh, fuck do I remember anything on video uh, I'll just go to TV over here you can see trending and popular TV series and stuff uh, yeah we'll just take flash for example I haven't watched any of flash but just ex as an example uh, you can click flash and over here you can either add to history and this will add all the uh, episodes that have aired so far to your history and uh, here it pops up uh, a, a notification do you did you watch this right now which is practically impossible that you watch the whole series like right now so that's a bit odd but you can also select that you watched all the episodes on release date uh, that's what I usually do when I really don't give a fuck when I watch them if I have watched them in previous like uh, years from now or something uh, or you can just select other date and you'll actually get to select a specific date when you watched it uh, but uh, as I said I mainly use on release date just because it won't pop up in my activity like I've watched like a thousand episodes or something right like that so that's what I usually do but for this example I'll just put that I have watched uh, season one of the flash so I'll go ahead and uh, click the check mark box here and on release date and by the way I'll also mention uh, these two buttons I don't use at all add to watch list ma basically means it's added to your watch list so you remember that you some that you want to watch it but you still haven't and once you've watched uh, that episode in particular or that season in particular uh, it will disappear from your watch list so uh, but it's quite hard to find your watch list to be honest so I uh, just I don't really use that and add to collection is basically uh, from what I know if you physically own uh, that season in particular like if you have it on iTunes or something you're bought the season then you can add it to co your collection but I don't use that because uh, really I don't own any series really <laughs> but for this example I'll just say I watched uh, season one of uh, the flash on release date uh, so yeah it will say uh, you watched 23 episodes of the flash season one and the uh, red button here in the middle is your dashboard and your home page uh, which will uh, pop up when you've logged in as you see here now the flash is over here and it will say that the next episode I am to watch is the first episode of season 2 which is very very correct and uh, if I go ahead and use some some streaming sites really there are a hundred streaming sites uh, like for example put lockerseries.com it will give you links uh, just to like file sharing sites and you can watch the, you guys probably know where to watch series and what you prefer so if you watched uh, like if I for example just watched uh, the first episode of uh, the second season of the flash I'll just go ahead and press uh, the check mark and right now and uh, now it says that I did watch it and uh, I can just refresh this page to show you that it will now say I am to watch the second uh, uh, episode of the second season so yeah it's keeping track and over here it also says when the latest episode will air uh, and uh, over here it uh, will show my 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 act recent activity as you see the flash uh, just uh, right a couple of moments ago and before that I watched the latest episode of the new girl uh, but yeah so if you like have watched the series and you get bored of it and don't plan on watching it 
anytime soon and you just want it uh, uh, gone from here because you only want the series you're currently watching and are you're interested in over here you can basically just press this button hide this and it will say uh, you hide this yes hide it and it will disappear and uh, I'm not really sure it will still be in your upcoming schedule over here uh, but uh, it won't be over here so if you want it back I'm not really sure how to get it back to be honest but I'm sure you you'll figure it out if you for some reason want to hide something but yeah that's that and uh, of course it's a bit clumsy uh, having to go ahead and click twice for any every single episode you watch uh, but what I do is I have uh, this site open in a separate window because I use two monitors and I watch the series over here and I have this open in this monitor and uh, then I just keep track of it and update the page by clicking here. Uh, but also there are uh, plugins if you for example use Netflix to watch your series and stuff then there is a Netflix uh, Google Chrome plugin uh, which you can access by going into the downloads tab over here clicking Netflix and it will be opening uh, the Chrome web store and as you see I've already added it to my Chrome because I did used to have the free month of Netflix uh, but as uh, you may have figured out this only applies to uh, like uh, Netflix in browser it won't work for the uh, Windows Store Netflix web app Anyway, of course, uh, if you want to track automatically Netflix series you're watching, you have to go into Netflix, you have to log in, but as you see, it will say blah blah blah, it, my, uh, it has expired, mine has expired, but as you see here, the track flix icon will appear when you go to onto Netflix, and the over here, you'll have to log in using your track.tv account, and it will send you some verification stuff, you'll have to enter a pin code and stuff, but it will tell you all what to do, uh, so basically when you start watching something on Netflix uh, and you go onto this page it will say currently watching and it will also say the progress how many percentages of that particular episode or movie you have watched and how much is left and uh, what the episode name is and everything and once you're done watching that hopefully it will uh, get added to your uh, recently watched and uh, you can update this page and for example if I had watched the community see episode 16 uh, it would now have automatically tracked it and it would now say that I am to watch episode 17 but however I've had ex uh, I've experienced problem with tracked flicks uh, for some reason it sometimes does not uh, track uh, what you're watching uh, I'm not really sure if you're supposed to wait all until the end and you can't click like the next episode button that appears on Netflix or if you have to do so I'm not really sure how it is but sometimes it just didn't track it so uh, the uh, plugin is a bit itchy at the moment uh, with Netflix but uh, I of course don't use Netflix anymore since I don't have the free time anymore but or like the free month uh, but over here there are other plugins as well there is a plugin for VLC which I haven't uh, tried, also for Plex which is a media center platform I think. Uh, not really sure what these are but uh, they are I think media centers and plugins which will give you access to automatically tracking your uh, series and stuff so you won't have to uh, manually go uh, onto track.tv and select an episode as watched. Anyway, uh, I use Kodi Media Center on my PC uh, to watch many series uh, as I get free links uh, using other plugins which I may do a video on in the near future, I'm not really sure yet. But uh, yeah, so I use the Kodi plugin and uh, you can basically download it by clicking here and it will, it will redirect you to GitHub. Download the zip and install the add-on as you would normally do in Kodi. If you don't know what Kodi is or how to install plugins in Kodi, I guess I could make a video on that in the near future. But anyway, uh, so that wa that plugin works very, very well. Uh, so when I watched an episode, it will automatically track it and uh, say that I watched it and it will get into my recently watched here. And uh, f last but not least, uh, actually, l really, I movies, There's of I already mentioned movies. Uh, as you see here, I watched Deadpool and stuff. But yeah that's very basic also you have your basic calendar here if you want that uh, view instead of the one that is a bit clumsy on the dashboard so you can track all your series and see when they're airing 
and stuff uh, but yeah as I said last but not least you can of course have friends on this you can follow your friends they can follow you back and you uh, to like get a friend you will have to be following that particular friend and he has to follow you back and then you'll be considered as friends uh, and over here you can do all kinds of stuff not really sure you can change well you'll just have to figure it out yourself I haven't really gone too much into detail over there but uh, as you see my name is uh, I'll just show you my profile uh, over here in the you get to choose your username and my name is Matson96 so if uh, I want to share my profile with a friend of mine I have to go into uh, my name and profile and copy the link over here send this link to my friend and there will be a follow button over here for him to click and uh, then uh, he'll send me his link and I will press his follow button. I, mean, I know it's a bit clumsy but I haven't really found a way to search for friends yet uh, but you can tell me if you do but you can visit your friends profile see how what they watched and uh, what they watched recently and over here it says all the genres they watched that will show for you as well on your dashboard and how much of their lives they wasted and <laughs> stuff uh, and on your own dashboard you'll actually see your friends network activity as you see here my friends have watched Lucifer, Arrow, Agent Carter and all kinds of series over here in recent uh, days uh, February 23rd so it's uh, some days ago but it's still pretty up to date uh, I know he's a bit lazy and all doesn't always uh, track his series because he has to do it manually but even if you do this manually it's still a great site to keep track of all your series uh, as you saw I am currently keeping track of quite a lot of series uh, so this is very very helpful for me for because there would be no way in hell I would remember every single series I'm watching and what episode I am watching so yeah but Thank you guys for watching this video. If it did help you out, uh, leave a like. It would really mean a lot to me. Subscribe for more videos like these. Computer tutorials, tech tutorials, internet tutorials. And uh, also, if you do want to see a tutorial video on how to use Kodi, how to set this up on Kodi, uh, like how to get the tracked TV add-on working, or how to watch series on Kodi for free, and just basically Cody tutorials leave your uh, love in the description uh, in the description in the comment section telling me to uh, do so and also if you have any suggestions on what kind of video tutorial you would like to see uh, leave that in the description as well uh, and uh, actually before I go I have to mention one thing that I really did forget uh, of course there's VIP uh, as well you can pay for not to see commercials but I'm using adblock so it doesn't really matter but yeah, there are applications for your mobile devices, Windows Phone, Android, iPad and iPhone. Uh, these are just example applications. There are more applications than these uh, probably in your store, but these are just the ones they've added here. Uh, but basically what you can do from the uh, application is, uh, depending on your application, you might have to have uh, bought the application or something but there are free alternatives that work very well you can uh, basically do all the same as you can on the website also the website has a mobile version if you want to use that as well but you can track uh, series on the mobile device you can select them as watched and all kinds of stuff really so that is very very helpful I'm using Windows Phone and I'm using Tractor and in my experience that's the best application right now for Windows Phone and uh, for Track.tv so Tractor is a third party application uh, for Windows Phone that I really really recommend you to use if you have a Windows Phone anyway thank you guys for watching again leave a like subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one peace